All right, welcome to the Indie Bandits Twitch stream and YouTube channel. Um, we're back in Medieval 2 Total War, ready to continue the crusade and the domination of Medieval Europe. I'm Jimmy, and I'm here with Joe again. Hello. What have you been up to this week, Joe? Oh, just celebrating Jesus. It is Holy Week over here in Spain. And you know what? I got a letter through me door the other day, and it was from the Pope, and he was like... You're going to say it was from Jesus Joe. for a second? No, obviously not. It's from the Pope. And the Pope was like, Joe, get on that crusade. And I'm like, I will answer that call, which is what I think we were just about up to. We were, about to, we were roped into a crusade, and we just arrived in like Alexandria. Alexandria or Cairo, either or. It, it doesn't re it doesn't really matter both of them are heathens so i feel that's where we were up to last uh, time yeah it was yeah we um we did, the crusade had made it all the way out so we're ready to continue that but now we also have access to longbowmen so these peasant archers can sort it off i'll keep a couple of them because yeah we'll need a couple but let's get some longbowmen in there I'll leave the peasant archers to defend. I'll take the longbowmen with us. Right. Um, are we still at war? No, we're neutral with them. We're still at war with Portugal. That's this what I was going to ask. Massive army a little of confused French rebels. Over last time, actually, uh, who we were at war at and well, who I think we weren't. There was several occasions of let's make peace. Confusion. Actually, hang on a second. Let's not make peace. Actually, go on then. Let's make peace. And it's Whoa, like, yes. all right. Figure it out amongst yourselves and then get back to us when you figure when you've worked it out. Either yeah, way, we're kind of just defending over there. We would because last time we were defending against uh, everyone. Essentially, everyone uh, took exception to us eradicating the Scots from the face of the earth. And though I can see their side of the argument, I didn't really feel it was necessary for the Danes. Spains and the, the Spains to get in. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I was doing a rhyme thing. The Spanish, the Portuguese, and the the Danes to get involved with this crack on. They, they they. I didn't realize they liked the Scots that much. I didn't realize the Danes, Spanish, and Portuguese had that much affinity with the Scots. But we eradicated the Scots. But they all took exception to it. And then we were having a bit of a crack on with them. And the Danes took Nottingham, if I'm not mistaken. They did, yeah, which is still Danish. So there's just a big black void in the middle of the UK. <laughs> and I don't mean Nottingham, but you know what I mean. It's a uh, <laughs> which we haven't got, which we should take back, but we can't really, right? Because um, no, I think we probably can. I'm building up to that. I'm gonna go over and take Nottingham back. Are they turned it into a? They've turned it from a into castle a into a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yeah, probably. They've refigured it from a reconfigured it from a, a castle into a, a city for some bizarre reason. So I'll, uh, when we get the army up, we'll go back and take that. Um, but and we're then, still at war with them, Majigas, right? We're, we're, are we at still at war with the Danes? Or yeah, yeah, we're still at war with the Danes. Yeah. I thought we'd made peace with them. I thought they took Nottingham and were just like, yeah, we're cool now. No, they wanted to make peace, but I didn't because they've got Nottingham. Yes. Ah, fair enough. But with the Spaniards, we've made peace, right? Uh, the Spanish are all right with us now, but the Portuguese are still at war. I think the French may also still be at war with us, so... I completely forgot about the French. I'm not gonna lie. Go completely and forgot attack about them. Cairo. But this is this is this is the this is the money maker right here, isn't it? This is what we were all about. We were about kicking ass in Egypt, right? That's what we're here for. We want to take this. Oh, hang on. We don't want them to get there first. Who are they? That's the Hungarians, also with the Crusader army. Oh no! Whoever assaults the, the Hungarians? city first. I mean, I know they're from Hungary, but I mean, I didn't even know they were in this game. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm. First, I've heard of them. They've been quiet, haven't they? Yeah, well, we haven't been anywhere near Hungary, yes, so my lord. That, that, that makes sense. But it's but we haven't been anywhere near Spain or Tomorrow's Portugal, and outside. they were having a war with us. I just felt everyone would get involved. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I just thought everyone would be like, "Yeah, enough of your enough of your crack on England." We're not happy about the whole thing you did with the Scots. We'll all get involved. Apparently, it was just the Iberian Peninsula that took any exception to what we'd been doing. Yeah, they just didn't 
didn't like our decision making at all. Right, let's do some. Yeah, which building. I think they are shilling for the Pope. Put it out there, tinfoil hat on right there, but I think they would they were only doing that because the Pope told them to. It's a possibility. The Pope does demand a lot. He does. Ships ready. It's Quit like that, damn schooner. <laughs> he asks for a lot and doesn't give very much back. At least what I have got from the Pope. <laughs> from Gregory, right? Gregory's our man, isn't he? Currently. I think it's Gregory. Which medieval Pope were <laughs> Are we up to? It's Gregory, yeah. Too many, too many names, man. Too many names. They, this is one thing. I thought I was going to learn about history, but there's just too many names going on in the whole thing that I don't, I don't know where to go with it all. We'll see. We'll crack on. Uh, also, didn't we? Didn't we used to own a town? In, we uh, we owned in this Normandy. one as well. Cop. Uh, ah, we owned the Kong, Portuguese we lost took Kong. that. Yeah. So we need to. Um, well, we'll start uh, England or UK number two over here in the uh, Middle East. Oh, oh dear. Look, Everyone's if turned up now. There's one thing the English like, it is taking over areas of the world that get a lot of sunshine. I so I feel this is this is in our wheelhouse, is it not? So Sicily's we take over turned Cairo. up. But I've got there first. Sicily. Yeah. Are Sicily a thing? Sorry, Sicily, not to undermine you, but like, yeah, I yeah. Think, is a, there a thing? Back it back when, um, yeah, and uh, it was, it had a lot of Norman and Viking influence in Sicily at the time as well. Normans, Normans were technically Viking anyway. I mean, I think we mentioned this in like episode one and or two, uh, that the Normans were Vikings that the French were just like, stop attacking Paris. And the Normans were like, fine, but give us some of France. They're like, have this bit in the Northwest. That's yours. Keep it. And they were like, yeah, all right. We'll we'll speak French. We'll we'll do the Catholic thing. And we'll just be French Vikings. And they, and they did it that way. So I guess, uh, you know, it's it, the, the waters have been a bit muddy. In Europe, who knew? God bless, noble lord. Yeah, I mean, so I've, which, I've no which idea what these European two are Vikings doing. are these lot. Well, no, this is uh, uh, this is probably more uh, Sicily, but they've only sent two like named characters on the Crusades. So I feel like that's kind of cheaping out on the whole thing, to be honest. But uh, never mind. Where they literally just sent first, the diplomats? So, yeah, we we'll, uh, just like rocked up as like. Here's, here's Prince Harry, and he's here to do an appearance, but he's actually not going to fight. Yeah, here's Alberto. That's we'll send Alberto goes. along, and he'll he'll just stand there not doing anything. But that Alberto does mean that we're going to take gonna Cairo, up. though, so that'll be good. Um, I assume these named characters can't take Cairo. It doesn't matter. Even if they at attacked it now, we um, because we laid siege first, we'd be the ones to claim I think uh, that's known Cairo. as medieval dibs. It is, yeah. Your orders, sire. Mm. Yes, sire. Who's this? Oh, Venice. Tomorrow's Let's go talk to them. Out, uh, what was that dude's name? Alberto of, of Sicily. Sicily? I don't think he's real. Mine, negative, negative points for medieval. Well, well, maybe not. Prince Alberto of Naples and Sicily. Could be. He might be legit. Sorry. I'm sorry, uh, medieval two. Tomorrow's total war. Uh, I questioned your historical accuracy, and it looks like they were bang on the money. Tomorrow's journey planned. Out. I hope he's but dead, Joe. He's Euro. dead. Thank fuck. You know what? Pro Pope Gregory was a dick. I hope that doesn't he mean the Crusades in... over, though. Oh man! Imagine <laughs> that we just got there. Oh, hang on. Sweet. Do we get? Oh, how come? How come I don't one get we like is from? in this? Wait, what? So there's a papal election, and we don't. Have you? Right. Well, I'm obviously Manuel, not gonna. I'm not gonna vote for the Nicolo Portuguese. Nicolo the guy. Unorthodox. I like Nicolo the Unorthodox. I like his style. Hmm. I'm not gonna go with Portugal because they're at war with us. Uh, yeah. The relations Who's are the poor third with one? everybody, Ni though. Nicolo so. the Unorthodox. He's Sicilian, so I'm gonna go with him. I like, I like his style. You can't 
Carlos with the Nicolas style. Wait, what? We didn't vote for him. Gerardus. Gerardus. Uh, we didn't vote for him, did we? No, we, we didn't. For him? Oh, no. Okay, did, so the Pope is at the no war now. with us. That's not good. Uh, Who's at war with us? What the fuck? No, the Portuguese guy was elected as the Pope, so Portugal are at war with us, so it's not good to have uh, a Portuguese Pope. God damn Portuguese. Could they... I don't know. Maybe... Calm the fuck down? Like, I don't know. We didn't even do out of the Portuguese. Like, is there know. any diplomatic way around this? I mean, we can't even take back Con because the Portuguese have it, and that's like... Yeah, but we'll just... It's not even next to them. Smash them for that. Uh... I know, but we can't smash them because the Pope's their pal. This is the problem we have. Right. They've got... They've got Pope on their side, which I'm not an expert Sorry. of medieval history, but I think po having the Pope on your side is... Sorry. Sort of adv advantageous, perhaps. We are going to wipe these guys out. Rebels we... are dead. The day is ours, sire. Why were the rebels? They were just in a bit of Wales, so went out and got ah, them killed. Right. You take over that army. Smash it. And let's get some uh, extra dudes, and then we're going to go take back Nottingham. <laughs> please go, please go back and look at Henry in his face. Just before you do anything else, please go back and look at Henry's oh, yeah. face. <laughs> Just strapping lad. What what is Henry posing for? Yeah, he's handsome, look. He's considered to be a, is... by most to be a good looking man. <laughs> by all. There's no doubt whether he's a good looking man, but it's like he's fit and knows it. <laughs> Prince Robert the Mean didn't even know he was getting his photo taken. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Henry or oh, Henry spent hours posing for that fucking photo. <laughs> Right, where are we? Let's have a bit bounce with uh, Venice. Let's have some trade rights, right, Venice. Venice. Sort the gondolas out. Make them cheaper. Everyone wants a ride on the gondolas. Don't make them 80 euros an hour. <laughs> Jobs are good. Have you been on a gondola ride? Because I haven't. Because uh, a bit of a rip off in it, so didn't fancy it. I, I don't know who does, though. Who literally goes, rowboat? Nah. Like someone goes rowboat for eighty dings an hour with a dude in a stripey top. Right, let's uh, let's attack Cairo. Let's do it. Please don't have let's... a massively, massively good army. Imagine if they had like thousands of secret. Is that your army on the bottom? On the bottom. Yeah, bar? yeah, I've got a lot, and they don't have that looks much. Reasonably large. Well, it is. Is a that crusade. their army? And King Rufus is leading it. Look at his leadership qualities compared to NASA the Wrathful. Secret history fact. Uh, King Rufus was actually William, wasn't he? We worked that out the other day. He was mm. called like William Rufus the Summit. <laughs> so this game's got it a bit wrong. Yeah, I know. Historically accurate. <laughs> no, I'm sure. He, I'm sure. I'm sure I got that right. I do my research. William. I'm sure it was called William Rufus. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah, look I'm at this, man. Up. Oh, that's Crusader not like it, dudes everywhere. Do you want to have a look at some of these Crusader units, Joe? Look at them with their... They look schwank, but are they are they as schwank as the... Uh, as the jinetes from Spain? Because they were pretty... They were pretty oh, schwank. Look at these dudes, man. I mean, they got, they got whomped big style. I think the pilgrims are the ones that look funniest because they're like absolute trash units, but... They just look really funny because they've just... But they came along for the bands. Look at that. I just rocked up with their monk robes and their little knives. Bless them. <laughs> I love it. It's like these are the dudes that showed up to a party and were like... <gasps> well, no one told us about the dress code. I didn't realise I had to wear chain mail. Jesus, I left me chain mail at home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Uh, <laughs> just like, we're attacking I mean, the at least they're keen. Cairo, at yeah. least they're keen. Oh, yeah. Um, right, so it's just going to be... Massive frontal assault, I reckon. Let's get all the knights back so they don't get shot up. Just full frontal, I think is what we're calling this, right? Yep. But we're so you put the horses at the back, right? I don't and want them the getting shot by the even further back. 
by the towers don't don't got no archers. Do you, you wait till everyone's involved in combat and then just like hoy the horses at them and just be like horses, go. Once those gates are down, that's when the horses get involved. Uh... They can go up front because they're basically cannon fodder. Are they the pilgrims? Are they yeah. So are they... So, so pilgrims can... So pilgrims can at the front. You put all the fodder at the front. Then you put the horses behind them. Do you put the archers behind them? Or are archers in the middle? Where do archers go? There are no archers in this army, so they... Ah, so uh, they no question. Be... But where would archers go? Because this is a question. Uh, right now, I would have them uh, nowhere near the front until the maybe when the ladders get to the wall, then you can push them forward and have them firing over the walls. Just if there's anyone camping behind the wall. So in setup, you put them like second or third tier, maybe. Is that? Yeah, possibly. That, would that be fair? Shooting flaming arrows as well, because it causes a morale issue as well. So makes the men defending a bit panicky right i think everyone's set up ready to go all right before you before you can i found i found the the majiggers out about uh william rufus william rufus is william the second of england a uh, third son of william the conqueror i knew rufus was uh he's called rufus on our crack on but he's he's went by william in real life because he went as william the second of england so uh right. yeah so Rufus, Rufus is the third son of William in this game. Don't kill him, you know. Better I'll try my best. I think, I think, I don't know. It, that this is the first time I've seen the bar at the the bottom of the screen like filled with units. I feel we shouldn't lose this, but also I feel this is much higher stakes than it's yeah. ever been. Yeah, they they've they got have a lot of reasonable. It's just when you're defending, when you defend, it's a bit easier, um, obviously, because you've got the height and wall advantage, but we should be able to get through with this first block, especially over here. I feel like we'll uh, we'll be able to sort of hint at them. I mean, they've only got archers here, and there's some swordsmen going up the walls here. These guys should make short work of them. Pilgrims, though, I don't think will do very well. Smile if they smash the, the wall. The pilgrims, then. the ones pushing the the battering ram. Yeah. I mean, at least are they driven by their devotion? I guess. I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. If their devotion drives them thus far. Just get it in without this thing being set on fire. Then I'll be happy. How likely is this thing to be set on fire? So, at this yeah. stage, hopefully not very likely at all. They okay. don't have many flaming archers, I'm assuming. No, I, I don't just... see many flaming arrows tearing through the but... midday sun. Could we have not attacked them at night? I feel that does that not give us an advantage? Do we have an, an option to attack them at night? You do, but it isn't always. Uh, it doesn't always come up. No, is this one of these ah, defenses right. where they're going to start raining oil on us over these? Oh, can they, like, sluice oil out of the majiggers on the end you and, can, like, set you on fire? Yeah, you, as you, as your settlements get better, they can, uh, look at that. A bit of, bit of scrapping going on on the walls here. Get them. They're up the ladders. Having a good time. Get them. We got Saracen militia, Saracen militia. Oh, we're in. Right, send in the pilgrims. I love the fact that they're that keen that they'd like travel from, I don't know, well, not Nottingham because that doesn't belong to us anymore, but they'd travel from like the English Midlands to Cairo to die for someone they've never met and only heard about in stories but apparently answers to the big band <laughs> that is that is like outright devotion oh yeah like if someone if someone turned around to me and went here yeah. oh you know god i'm like i don't know him personally right well the guy who speaks for god he says go to mars and then potentially die 
you in? I'd be like, I'm not sure about it, like. They're like, uh, it's good for your god points. I'm like, all right, I'll go. I'll go on like a suicide mission to like the other side of the my known universe and die for it. Yeah. Like that's some that's some flipping commitment right there. I've never been that committed to anything. I mean, in my life. Oh. These dudes went like I know this is like the fictional version, but in the real version, like IRL, there were dudes that were like told. I'm gonna go fighting like Tur uh, I think Turkey, right, was where a lot of the crusades were going on. Right, um, I'm wrong. I can't remember exactly where the, the crusades were, but I think it was around that like Middle East area, sort of uh, Jerusalem, Israel area. Yeah, and the cutoff point between like what, like Europe and Asia, essentially. Like, it's a long way to go, especially for people who went on foot, and I mean like. Foot and potentially horse, but I mean, foot like and potentially this, horse. The they didn't have cars. If anyone from the UK has been to Turkey or Israel, I can guarantee that they did not go on foot. And these guys went on foot. You have a fight? Like, Oops. there's people who won't even, like, go to... Like, if I turned around and said, get to Turkey from the UK but you have to go by coach and it's gonna take you a couple of days I can guarantee most people be like no not a chance do you want to head down the to the Middle East via bus <laughs> it'll take you a few days people will be like no if someone said you've got to walk there most people I know will be like nah, get out of town not having it I'm not walking all the way to the Middle East Oh, but don't worry, once you get there, you get to have a fight where you might potentially die. I don't know anyone who would be for that. These these dudes were like, yeah, all right, let's do it. I'm itching for a scrap. <laughs> Pope tell us. We'll have to go. See, no doubt. Uh, there's, no, there's no question about it. We are pilgrims. We have to walk to the Middle East and then fight some Israelites. What are they doing? What are they the doing? Israelites. What is going on? Really? Why do they keep running up Those the guys wall? Are having a break. Those dudes there, Jim. Ah, uh, a... because these guys are the stuck. That's really annoying. Look, they're like... So every time I was clicking the attack move... There's a wee ah, game There you go. Get him. Cut him down. Sent me pilgrims in to attack all the horses. I'm clogging up the alleyways with pilgrims. Right, back to my original point, I wouldn't even get a. No, I wouldn't even travel by coach all the way down to the Middle East, let alone would I travel down by coach and attack some horses. I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, everybody. Uh, do I get to did that work out? Did, or did the, the janky nonsense? I think so. Uh, the guys no, they're, they're running away. They're, they're fleeing now. All right, now we've just got a bit of a bottleneck going on, but which is a bit annoying because they're just going to get showered in arrows, but we've got a group of guys coming down. All right, everybody just pile in now. Get all the horses in. I think we've got enough exposable dudes. That uh, exposable, dispensable. I don't yeah, know. yeah, that's what the pilgrims are. They're just, just fodder, basically, getting the waste that arrows on the pilgrims. Oh, bless them, bless them. They won't be having a good time. While the town militia just go running forward and Only take out the horses. Remains. Their town militia or our town militia? Also, our town militia. Can we have it? Can we have a town militia if it's not our town? <laughs> Surely by that point they're just militia. Oh look at these guys. The Fancy like outfits. This, we will smash the enemy. That's well, their guy, so that, that's some that's their leader right swanky here. Egyptians, right? There we go, we've arrived. Uh I want the spearman to get up front. Get over there. And 
of the town militia is eh? What are you? There you are. Does every town have a large open courtyard that we can just like I don't know, have a big Barney in? Yeah, it's the it's the place for Barneys. That's how they if they make these towns back in the day, they were like, right, obviously we're going to have to have a anyway. huge gap in the middle of any scraps. Well, I don't doubt that, because it seemed they were rather fond of a scrap. They did enjoy a bit of a scrap. All right, in we'll come, lads. Everybody pile in. Free for all now. But we're, we're winning, right? There's not oh, yeah. much of them left. I mean, they're making the pilgrims get a little bit frightened, but... Uh, you know, that's all right. But like, we outnumber them by loads, and they're just chilling in the center. Like, surely there's something better they could be doing than this, other than just waiting for us in the town center. This is right? all they have left? Yeah, but <laughs> they could have tried something, right? I feel like they just hope we'll just like, let them I guess them they go. hope the like, soldiers on the walls the were gonna stop them, but. No, but they didn't. what are they doing now? Like, surely you just like keep running away. Like, what's well, these the, guys what's should the be charging. AI doing? The game's AI oh, is uh, game? probably realizing like uh, there's nothing I can do right now, so it's starting to panic. But surely it's something. You'd gnash off to the other corner, or no? Because like, if he left like the, the square, game. we'd win. The we'd win if you hold the square for long enough, you win. Right. So there's a mechanical advantage to holding the square, so that so that unit is just forced to stay in the square. Pretty like a much. bunch of lemons and hope it plays out, which is which, not going to play out, but it will like, not there's nowhere else they can go. Yeah. No. Right, so so there's, a so there's a mechanical thing at play where the center of every town, like, counts as the victory objective as well. Uh, yeah. All right, now everyone pile in. And basically these dudes who can't go anywhere but sound like this are the horses are pretty in ineffective at this point because their job's to charge right their job is to like fucking run at units and gin them but now they can't because they've actually got hold the center which like yeah they're kind of trapped then you neutral that neutralizes their ability to run or charge i mean they should they should still be doing it but uh it is the ai we're talking about it's not it's not the most sophisticated ai in the world Especially not no, at the point at right. which it's Jesus. like completely lost the battle, then it's kind of, it just can't figure out what to do basically. And running right now into a bunch of spearmen is not a good idea. No, and horses can't run into spearmen. That's just general, the general rule of thumb for most like, strategy games. Pretty much. Like, like spear like, beat spear beats horse, right? You just like yeah. poke your spear upwards and let horses run at you. I think historically that's how spears worked. You just kind of like take a knee and point your spear slightly upwards, and if horses are coming at you, you win. Pretty much. Yeah, and I think most games like this and many others have uh, have agreed upon that deal. I know the the latest Civ game I've been playing has uh, has that as well. It's like three men have an advantage over horsemen. Yeah. All right, get in there. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Well, I know that bar means that those dudes are done. Like, it's mostly red, which means we win. Yeah? Oh, yeah, we're going to... I mean, in a minute, we win even if we don't kill everybody because uh, we've held the town center for long enough. Because they don't have oh, enough. Is that, what the, is that what the countdown is in the top right? So yeah. We're holding the town center, right. So we had three minutes to hold the town center, and we've pretty much got it. So we don't need to kill anyone else. We can just sit and hold the fort. Yeah. Get him. 
Who's chinning who here? This one thing I couldn't get with this game. I was like, uh, we'll be chinning them because like 2006 or whatever, and like the animations aren't that sophisticated, but there are moments where I'm kind of like, what's happening? <laughs> Yeah, it's quite. Yes. It's in in that sense, it's probably quite like a medieval battle where a lot of people probably would have been stood there going, "So what exactly is happening now? <laughs> who who am I? Not who am I attacking?" Not as calmly as you said it. <laughs> not as calmly as you said it. Possibly not. Are, like the confusion was definitely there. I can, I can get you from that. So we deployed. Whoa, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty. Like, yeah, we nearly deployed four times as many men as them. Oh yeah. They were not ready for this. They were not. They should have and been ready. And we a lot. Uh, well, actually, we lost more men than them, didn't we? We did, but a lot of them would have been crappy pilgrims. Abs. Yeah. So. And now so we've we got Cairo. Cairo now, right? Yeah, crusade Cairo's done. Dragon. If it was oh, even so a crusade still. <laughs> are we? <laughs> Next, the, the guy who told us to <laughs> get involved, we want to occupy this, right? I kind of think I might want to exterminate the populace as well, because... Uh, They'll Do be they mostly the Moorish. Uh, well, yeah, because right now they're going to hate the fact that Christians are in charge of Cairo, so might be... I oh, know, successful crusade. We, we're going to get points for that. I might just end up... Ex this is a pretty harsh move to do, but uh, I'm going to do it. But my, I assume mechanically it worked out for us? Uh, yeah, we have to end up repairing stuff, and uh, what can we do here? Right, well, that'll... We didn't come here to fix your town, guys. Sorry. <laughs> no, we we're came. Not, we're not here to sort out the potholes. Uh, right. I can probably disband all these pilgrims. Do we need Bye. to disband them? Can they not take Alexandria, or is that just a? a... Uh, I'm not sure. I want to. How much do these cost in terms of upkeep? So sort of come, whilst we're here and we own Cairo, can we not chain Alexandria whilst we're here? Just, you know, on the way back. We're not going back. i am got a foothold in this part of the world now. Well, that's what I mean. So why don't we just take Alexandria whilst we're here? Because I've lost units. I don't want to spread too thin because if the Egyptians come, which they most likely will, I need to be able to defend the territory that I've just taken. So I'm going to concentrate on that. Yeah, does it tell us how... Uh... Well, it's not particularly strong, but if I have to split up my army and half it between these two, and then the Egyptians come with a huge stack, uh, I'll end up losing two cities instead of being able to defend one. So I'm right. going to stay here and defend it. Hunker down. Yeah. Build a church as well, get everyone pissed off. Then start building some basic I stuff. I assume the church has some kind of like religious benefit benefit to it it makes the populace happy it allows me to recruit a priest and start changing the area to christian as well so it'll stop instead me getting of, penalties for being a, a, a like a basically a foreigner um yeah yeah okay i assume there's like penalties for being like a christian king in a muslim city yep uh All right so bonus. oh so we got 20 so units got an experience bonus and the pope gave us Pretty much 1900 gold. Two grand. I kind of. The upkeep's going to be massive on this, isn't it? Oh no, maybe not. Okay, Up, I'll, I'll keep Upkeep on what? The army that is now there, because they're obviously not taking Crusader oh, wages. Shit. Now they're taking like proper wages, so they're quite expensive. Can, can now. you just move them to another Crusader? Do you have to just like disband them or some shit? I, I've disbanded a few of them. I'm going to start mixing some of what these in actually. Uh, is disbanding just deleting them? Is that like essentially, yeah? Uh, Saying I'm I'm done with you. You don't need to fight for me anymore. I'm not going to pay you. So where do where do they go? Do they like become like habitants inhabitants of the area that you own? Or? No, 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 no. They just not in the game they just anymore. Just disappear. Yeah. An order. Um. I state Nottingham because I feel the British Isles belongs to the British. Yeah. Not the Danes. Oh god, the Spanish are fighting us again. Really? Wait, 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 wait. They were at peace. Ooh. The Thieves Guild. What's that, crack on? What's the. What's the. What, I don't understand the, the Spaniards who. Uh. Like, how were uh, they allowed to do that? 
I don't know. Is the uh, Pope prob- not unhappy with them? Prob- I, mean, I think the Pope hates us, though, so... He does, because uh, of the whole Scotland thing, but I just... No, it's because he's Portuguese <laughs> now. Ah, oh, the Pope... <laughs> well, then you should hate the Swash even more, if I know anything about the Portuguese. <laughs> blah, blah. Oh, apparently the Pope isn't that pissed off with us anymore. Good, we... well, is there no way you can right, just be like, him. dude, get the Spaniards and fall back. I'm having you, man. Let's get another unit of Welsh spearmen to flesh this out. Right, I uh, will have that. We'll have it. No worries. We have Nottingham, or is that like next turn? Is there something I can do? Let's get some trade rights and swap some map information. What do trade rights there. do? Because in my I game, folk keep offer, offering us trade rights and uh, uh money, basically. Yes, sire. But so, it just says trade rights, and it, it just means that you're you. open to trading with that that nation. So you basically generate oh, so cash from them. Well, you can do anything with them. You have to offer trade rights. No, no, you don't have to, but. You just, but how do you earn money? Because it's just a mechanic in the game. Once you're trading with another faction, you earn money. So it's taking the tradable goods that you've got and you make money selling it to that faction. Once you agree to trade rights. Yeah. So agreeing to trade rights is essentially just more money for both of us. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So it's... why why wouldn't you accept that? To Why would you, like, refuse that? The AI might not have anything to trade, so it might be just costing the AI. Um, but with you, I think the the player, it's always something to get, you know? Like, for the AI, so it might not be. So just if someone be, offers you trade rights, just go yes. Tomorrow's journey Essentially, I've never, I've never ever, you know, like it tells you here, uh, trade. There's no reason otherwise. One th- I'm getting 1,000 gold a turn from the trade rights I've set up. So I'd, I've never seen a reason to not take the trade. Hang on, open, open that majigger again. And let's see what the... the Where are the trade rights? Where's Top the here, trade. trade. Uh, um, um, be, ah, yes, the third one down. So this is money and no expenditure. Basically, yeah. But for the AI, uh, it's like, it's it's not like, y- 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 there's no point in putting in for the player the option to trade and lose money because you would never ever do that. But for the AI, really there is that functionality, like the AI will decide if it wants to trade with you or not. It depends on things like um, if they've got anything to trade, if you've got anything to trade, you actually have to have resources. And then mm-hmm. um, whether or not they like you, they might not want to trade with you because they might not like you. So. Despite you, yeah, they mm-hmm. don't. They just don't want to give you more money. But mm-hmm. essentially, trade rights. When someone offers trade right, trade rights, it's just more money for the player. So just accept them. Just take them. Yeah, do it. Yeah. and constantly Sorry. offer it as well. Uh, they do. I right, want to know what time. the benefit is for them. I guess. I guess they get something as well. They wouldn't Ooh. offer if there wasn't something for them. What's going on here? Uh, Lot of red and yellow there. What does it mean? <laughs> um, they've got a much better army than we do, but they have to get through the wall, so it is considerably better than ours, though. So. Can we not reinforce some others? Is this it again? Yeah, we've only got one unit of archers. Well, we might we might be able to. Wait, hang on. They've got eight hundred and fifty, and we've got a thousand. We outnumber them at least, right? Yeah, but their men are much higher quality. Better. Much better. Oh, are we not just holding them out, or...? Yeah, yeah, we're just defending. Turn, starve. Is this not a lot? Could we not have waited a few turns, or were we literally starving there? Is no, it, no, they, attack, that, like, they attacked us, so we don't have an option. Oh, they literally attacked. Yeah. They weren't even sieging us. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that, like, they could siege you for a few turns, and then eventually, if you're going to die, you can choose to attack. But yeah, if you're attacking, they were right. like, "Let's give it again, right?" But we have, we have like, I guess the advantage that we are ready for them in inverted commas, possibly as ready as we can be. I mean, do we want to just like just trying to basically clog get ready the uh, the center? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we've got like we've got like knee archers or anything like that. So we've just literally got just like focus everyone around the. 
Can we not, like, chuck some guys, like, directly at the front door? Like, I mean, like, even more so than you have done. I see what you're doing, but, like, can there not be people, like, right at, like, step one of the door to just... I want them to come in, though. I want them to fill this area so I can flank them properly. If I'm right at the front door, I can't flank them. Right, and... well, can you not, like, right-angle those other guys? I will do like, once the, the battle still... starts, yeah. No, but I mean, can you not just do that now? Like, have No, it's not, right it's not allowing us. It's, it's a bit janky, the uh, the mechanics for setting up your units before. So you fight. can't, like, put those guys on a right angle, the guys to the left and right. You can't just, like, fully it... 90 degrees them. Yeah, it wasn't allowing it, but as soon as the battle starts, I'll do that. Or do you want to put them maybe f further out? So it gives them more time to turn around, if you get me? Uh, then uh, they'll have weight. They'll have more than enough time to to turn around. The, 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 so you can you can turn them around quite quickly, I guess. Yeah, I see. Uh, you're, that's you turn them there, right? Your, yeah. That's your order to get them turned around. Yeah. Oh, man, those guys are coming in too. Well, I'm going to christen the world of pain. The, mur mean, the murder box. But the, cr the annoying thing is, these guys are, are just not very good. So I'm just going to try and hold them there. And once they're trapped, I'm going to send me general out the Shout other the gate, run all the way around, and then attack them in the rear. So I'm gonna, I just want to hold them here, basically. Yeah, this is the... So there's no way you can like, squeeze them in a little bit more, maybe. Oh, they're going to get... I'm gonna get slaughtered up on the walls here. Can you not, like, focus all the wall people on the people that are trying to go at the walls? Oh, that sounds good. Our have you know what I mean? Walls. Like, the guys that are stood on the walls? Them. Can you not focus their, like, you've created the box of doom for the people who are coming in, right? Yeah. Can the wall people not attack the people who are attacking the walls? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what's about to happen here. All right, so they're not attacking the people coming in with the battering ram. Oh, oh that's good. They've uh, battering rams are battering rams not going to help them now, so that's good. I don't know how that happened. It's raining, and I wasn't even shooting at it, but okay. <laughs> that's called sod slow. <laughs> well, these dudes coming up the stairs, they are going to chin you, like right? Uh, yeah, they're much better than the guys defending. But I am defending, so there's a slight. So what Bonus, happens once they get through though? What, what what will these gadgets do? What will they... They won't do anything because uh, they'll land in the murder box. <laughs> I'm just, no, I mean, I'm just shooting... If they go through your archers on the wall, what, what happens? I mean, the archers have indeed... Do they just jump into the murder box? Is that... Uh, yeah, they'll just attack the rest of the units. But my guys are holding them reasonably well. There will be a point at which the balance will swing in their favour because they just weight of quality of soldier Units. I guess so um, I'm gonna move the murder box slightly over to the left yeah yeah see that's the pro game I move I would have done just everyone shuffles slightly to the left they're not coming through that main door now are they with the without a battering ram can they come through the main door no no that's they have to come down off the walls here so I'll have my oh, archers right. shoot at them for as long as possible but I'll what were the archers on the right? Can they can they get yeah, involved man. with some crack on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That is literally their only way through now, right? So, and the murder box is going to come down through the the left of the two towers, right? Uh, unless they go across to the right of the two towers. They should. I, mean, I guess the ta the the towers are their only way down, right? I'm going to get my archers off the wall now because. Uh... They are gonna. They will have that wall imminently, and if I have my archers set up back here, they can shoot them on the walls rather than. You want to get them behind over. the murder box and then I'm gonna, shoot I'm gonna upwards. I'm going to get them here. Yeah. So and that's just like this murder box, but like, could they, if they wanted to be really cheeky, just like run to a different tower on the wall and go downstairs elsewhere? Yeah, yeah, but I'd just follow them along. Yeah, you just move the murder box to wherever they are, right? Mm hmm Okay, guys, let's sort it out.
See, they've got a nice view of these dismounted knights on the wall now. So the ah, oh, so the knights, so all their knights have to get off the horses and just climb a ladder and. No, no, them. they were they were just dismounted in the first place. You, they're they start dismounted. They're basically oh, right. just heavily armored soldiers. Dudes. <laughs> yeah, but now they're so also stood right knights, in the then? way. Nothing. Knights can't go up the walls. They have to go through the gate. And if the gate doesn't open, they just are useless units that sit outside. They the are, city yeah, basically battle. useless, yeah, until someone can. So if they capture the gate, they can open the gate. But all right, so if they if the dudes come round the other side of the gate, they could just open it from our from our side. Yeah, if they capture the gatehouse, then they'll have the oh, gatehouse. Okay. Pray something changes in the course of battle. For defeat seems almost mm. certain. I don't think it does. Who are those dudes moving right there? Who are, who are making a move behind the wheel of pain? Uh, just in case they do capture the gatehouse, then I've got extra men. Who are the they gate. though? What's their, what's their crack on? What's They're just spears. All of these are spears. Right. And, and we've got... We got no. Oh no, there's some archers left right at the back, aren't they? Like yeah, fire yeah. Upwards. They're shooting from here up there, aren't they? These knights. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. So this is uh. Yeah, there's a lot of them going down here. <laughs> Looks like they're masturbating. Some of the ones at the back are really enjoying this fight. It's be drift. <laughs> I mean, I know this game's from 2006. Obviously, there wasn't going to be an animation for like every single thing going on. There's a lot of uh, animation procedures. Oh yeah, especially when they're oh, stuck on play. the walls. Hello, long play. Sorry, sorry. We're just uh, <laughs> getting. I'm, I'm really obsessed with the uh, the way these dudes up on the hill. Hill? No. Uh, what are they called? Ramp ramparts. You should know. Long play. It's in. It's in your national anthem. The word ramparts. Uh, there's some dudes up here having a fight. Uh, long play says he came off his patio. Uh, how was the How was the patio? Long play. By the way, I assume the patio is outside and in lots of sun because if you own a patio, well, you know what? If you if you have anywhere that has a patio, it Clearly worth having some sun. Like patio and sun goes hand in hand. We're I'm in assuming your time on the patio was better than the time these guys are having up on the walls here. Ramparts, eh? I can't remember the the line in the uh, Star Spangled Banner which meant mentioned ramparts, but I know it's in there. The uh, but less about ramparts and more about patios. I'd much rather spend my time on a patio than a rampart because a rampart is obviously. The Almighty, for a military genius can bring us victory from this. I don't know. A rampart is. It means you're having a fight in it. Like if if you're on a rampart, you're probably defending something or besieging something. So you don't you don't want to be on a rampart. You want to be on a patio, and you know what? Like I envy those with a patio right now. Obviously, with the uh, with the real world right now, you want to be on a patio, just out there enjoying the sunshine. That's uh, that's where we all want to be right now, I guess. As Brits, we I feel we appreciate sunshine more than most. <laughs> I think I think I think people who live in places where it's where it's sunny. Ah, you don't know how good you've got it. Imagine, imagine where. Imagine living somewhere where a day of sunshine is so great that you just like you have to celebrate it. Like I remember being back home and remember when it used to be like sunny. I don't mean even warm. I just mean sunny. Remember how busy beer gardens are in Newcastle when it's sunny? Like that one day of a year that it's not gonna rain. They're busy when it's not sunny. Yeah, I mean. You just, like, yeah, Longplay says we have so much sunshine, I'd be more than happy to share it. Like, Longplay, I, I, I hear you. I live in the south of Spain, and 
my lass is like, oh, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, it's going to rain. But like, this is like one of like 10 rainy days we have a year. Like, imagine living your life in reverse where you look for the sunny days to plan something to do. This is like, this is what it's like being English, at least, at least in the Northeast. That's our crack on, isn't it? Like, if someone finds out in June, it's going to be like a sunny day all the day and you can be outside all day. Pray something changes in the course or your entire day is planned around certain. the fact that you can be outside for that long, that your entire, like, sunlight hours can be an outdoor activity. We don't... We don't, we don't get that, do we? I mean, like, it's a, it, it's a, it's a different way of thinking. Like, for me in the south of Spain, it's funny watching people like change their entire plans because it rained. This is, this is not something that happens in the UK. Like, rain, you know, except for cricket, rain does not stop play. No, well, it couldn't because nothing would ever get done. Because we never get anything done. <laughs> like I have, I have had to explain to Spaniards that I am not made of sugar, which they don't get. But I'm like, I'm not made of sugar. I won't melt in the <laughs> in the rain, and they just don't understand. I'm like, I I I'll still go out, especially if it's not going to drastically change my enjoyment of whatever outdoor activity I plan on doing. That's mm -hmm. that's kind of. That's kind of the crack on. Like, like, oh how, yeah, they're, they're how, coming how, into the murder box. Oh no. Rating out of 10 for the murder box here, long play. <laughs> you know what? Uh, talking about ratings out of 10, I was watching on, I was watching on Twitter. Uh, I think it was this, this week. Um, the, you know the Twitter account, We Rate Dogs, the one that like shows pictures of dogs and gives them like 12s and 13s out of a, uh, out of 10 and there's that guy brent or bront or whatever it was like i don't understand your rating system it's rubbish and then we rate dogs was like the the good dogs bront or whatever his name was it was like this whole meme for a, for a while long play knows it long plays knows we <laughs> rate dogs. where like the the twitter get the guy was like uh it doesn't even make sense. Like some guy who really doesn't get the joke is just like, it doesn't even make sense. You give all the dogs twelves and elevens out of a uh, out of tens. Just call them cute dogs. And the guy's like, they're good dogs, Bront. Not even his actual name. His name is like Brent. <laughs> and, uh, and like this became a thing. Just they're good dogs, Bront. And this is like, it was. It's so flipping adorable. This Twitter account this week just came out with. A mission statement this twitter account this twitter account we rate dogs had to put a mission statement because like we didn't plan it to be this popular we were just like posting pictures of cute dogs and giving them like 12s out of 10 but now it's become so popular we can't just like keep it stupid so now they are like out there helping dogs it's really cool they're like you know they have this like whole charity drive kind of crack on going they're like working with like charities that help like home dogs and all that kind of shit it's awesome and uh long play just informed us that bront brent or brand whatever the dude's name was actually did get a dog and admitted that the dog rating system of 12s and 11s out of 10 makes sense so he got <laughs> a dog and nice. saw it from the other side which is like oh that's amazing it's like it's so I don't know. I really like that, like that, that stupid meme of the the rating dogs out of eleven and twelve, telling like a guy online to just like chill the fuck out and just appreciate the dogs is amazing. But the fact that the dude actually went and got a dog, like, is it warms your cockles? Is that the expression? Yeah. I, don't yeah. Know. I, I absolutely love it, especially after like all this like sort of. Hey, look, this guy doesn't know what's about to happen, one. Joe. This this guy this guy is the Bront. Or Boom! Oh, there. Down he oh, goes. Shit, he got, <laughs> got good. That dude. That dude was tweeting. We read dogs and complaining about their, their uh, mathematically illogical rating system. But yeah, that guy got 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 so good. Um. But yeah, back to we read dogs. It uh, like it warms my cockles to know that like. 
Oh, that, like, this, this, like, stupid account that just, like, posted pictures of dogs being, like, adorable and, like, giving them, like, 13 out of 10 ratings has become, like, such a, like, a powerful force for good that it can, it can use the sway it's created on social media to, to, like, do even more good. That like mm -hmm. you know it's it's got it's got such importance on social media that it can get like animal based charities involved. It was really nice. And, and, the, and if you haven't seen it, go read it because the off we go. The mission statement is lovely. The mission statement is lovely. Like it just says we made something stupid and became so powerful that it is something like really nice that we can use as a force for good. And here we are. Who thought that we rate dogs had to write a mission statement? Crunch. So, so kudos to them. Poor, poor, but poor Bront of Espania. I'm, I'm gonna say he's, he was called Bront of Espania. I don't know if he just, he just whomped with like a charge. But uh, ah, long, long play, long play has just found it. Uh, is, it the, is it the reconciliation? Oh, he says it's the reconciliation. Oh no, I wanted the. I really wanted the uh, the mission statement from We Rate Dogs. But but still, but still, it's just like it's just such a nice. Uh, it, it's a nice story. It's a. Uh, Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. This is the yeah. So he's got the the stuff from the uh... <laughs> this is the stuff from Brant. Uh, I guess was he Brant? I can't remember if his name was originally Brant or Bront or whatever. But whatever his name was, we rate dogs and purposely put his name wrong in the response to him. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so here it is. So uh, Brant is what he goes by. Uh, tweets. Tweets of we, we rate dogs. Uh, hi, Matt, how's it going? We rate dogs says, hey, Brand, not bad. How are you? He goes, I'm good. We finally got a puppy, and I was wondering if you would be interested in giving him a look. And he posts, uh, he posts a picture of Charlie, this adorable puppy. Uh, puppy. And the we, we rate dogs account says, Does his shirt have hot dogs on it? And the OG poster, the guy who got so rate mad over the whole We Rate Dogs thing says, yes, it does. He's a very good dog. <laughs> and then, oh shit, this gets better. He posts a picture of his new dog in a giant, in a, like plush pineapple next to a Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants thing. And <laughs> the, the We Rate Dogs account says, can he go inside the pineapple? Is it his bed home? And Brant gets back. Yes, that is where he sleeps during the day. Oh, this is this is <laughs> flipping amazing. Then there's a picture of the dog. It flipping in and out burger, looking really happy at the table, like on its hind haunches. And we rate dogs goes, folks. We have come full circle. This is Charlie, dog of Brant. He naps in a pineapple, and really likes French fries. Fourteen out of ten. You've got a good dog, Brent. That, that's amazing. Oh, that makes my that makes my flipping day. Oh, why <laughs> is in the internet like that all day? Also, how's your how's your battle going, Jimmy? Uh, I but, think uh, we're winning, uh, but it just seems to be going on for a while. Cause, uh... oh, hang on, I've got. I'm gonna lie, Jimmy. Don't don't care. This guy got dog redemption on on Twitter <laughs> after <laughs> the guy you insulted. We rate dogs. Flip and turned round and how did I not see that? Oh, I, would, I like I'd love I sent I sent a mate the other day this whole crack on with the like the good dogs bront mate of mine who is currently uh, currently fostering a dog because of you know the whole the whole COVID thing like the number of people who like got dogs under COVID and then were like oh let's abandon them because we're cunts pardon the language but. We we're like, oh, let's just like get pets because we're bored and stuck at home, and now let's get rid of them because we're allowed to go out again. Um, a friend of mine's currently fostering a dog, which could get a, 
could get rehomed at any moment, but she, she flipping loves this dog, and um, I showed her the whole, like, rate dogs thing, and she thought it was great. I was just talking about this today, and I can't believe after how much I love the, 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 the rating dogs meme, the, the good dogs Bront thing, that I didn't know the guy, I didn't know Bront or Brant. I think his real name is Brant, but the, the, the meme calls him Bront. Oh, the fact that that dude, like, got a flipping dog and then tweeted back to the guy, uh, the, the rate dogs thing. Ah, it's amazing. And so uh, a lot of dead I, bodies up on this wall. Way to, way to ruin the buzz, Jimmy. I was, I was on a right high. But <laughs> they're, they're good dead bodies, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> they're Spanish. <laughs> Good dead cuerpos, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if they'd be cuerpos. They might be like cadabres because of the fact that they're dead. It's uh, it's, it's a sort of linguistic thing I have look over. Like in the same way we have like corpses and bodies. Uh, I know French has a whole like dead bodies aren't the same noun as living bodies or whatever. But long play does uh, does mention <laughs> the amount of internet memology I have my fingertips are locked in my brain it, <laughs> using a valuable storage. Long play. I feel I feel your pain. There's moments where I can remember a meme or something outrageously stupid that shouldn't like be in my memory, but it's like, oh I'm glad I know that fact and figure about like internet culture and or history. But I can't remember my pin code when I try and get money out at the bank. I, f I feel it. I feel it. The number, the number of times I, ah, I can't log on to my internet banking. But hey, I remember how uh, how the Leroy Jenkins things go, or how, oh sh, <laughs> long play just mentioned all your base. Mind all your base, Jim. I do remind it. Yeah. Damn, that's going back. Oh man, that's going back like. I remember a video of all your base on new grounds, and I remember an early internet age when I when I was a teen, thinking that like there was a possibility that all your base was legit. Like there was this whole kind of like pseudoscience um, conspiracy theory nonsense behind all your base, where it's like all the places that had all your base on on the on the street signs or whatever burned down. Yeah. You know? And, uh, oh man, Longplay mentions the remix. That was the Newgrounds remake of All Your Base and how they were like, I don't know, they were like roadside restaurants, etc., that had the, the All Your Base crack on outside of them. These guys are oh, dead. Man. For sure. They're trapped between our walls and a Why lot of dead? our guys. I thought we'd lost this one as well. But, no, um, no, oh, no. The Newgrounds. Well, all, all our bases belong to us. In this fight, those guys came in with a huge advantage, if I recall correctly. An advantage in the quality of men, not in numbers, but I, I took me general's unit and went outside the walls because uh, they were all trying to pile up the ladders and it's not ended well for them. It was supposed to be quality over quantity, but they surely had... They had the quality and not the quantity, but they still won. Oh yeah, and they don't have any left either, so... Robert the Mean. one. I don't know. Um, I don't think I have the... Uh, Longplay has the YouTube video. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Not the YouTube video. The video. Pre-YouTube. I know all your base, like, predates YouTube. Uh, has the YouTube video saved somewhere. I remember this. I remember, like, old school internet. I remember going around my mate's house in the days of dial-up. Richard, surname uh, redacted. I remember going around... Uh, yeah, you know who I'm talking about, Jimmy. I don't know uh, what you mean. You know, Richard, I remember going to Richard's house as a child and he, he had internet. He had internet that was okay. It was still dial up, but it was like the quicker of the dial up, I don't know. And like he li he lived in a big house that had enough uh, enough dial ups, I guess. I don't know, you call it like a dial up where like other people could still be on the phone and he had like a good contract so that like he could just dial up all the time. And he used to like show stuff that his uncle his un his uncle was quite rich as well who had you know one of these dial-ups where other people could be on the phone like a line for dial-up and a line for phones and he would like share like memes so like the earliest like internet jokes i'd, I'd hear out from him 
it uh, as long as like DSL. No, it wasn't DSL. It was the idea that you'd have like two phone lines in your house. So you'd have a phone line for dial-up internet, and you have a phone line for your phone. So you just you just have two you just have two phone lines and a decent contract. And I remember our house was not that case. Our house was after six in the evening. You would be allowed to like ring up internet for cheap. So you'd do all your internetting after six in the evening, but it was still caught off your phone. But what they did, they were they were rich enough to have two phone lines in the house. And this Richard, he would have he would have both. So he could be on the internet all day because they had enough money for a second phone line. So their phone line was never tied up. They had like an exclusive phone line for their internet. And he had all these memes. He had these like old school videos. Like the first like time I saw like the all your base video, it was like something he'd like dialed up to download and just like left downloading. And also the other, uh, there was this video of the, I think it was called the steroid Olympics, where it was literally just like a, a spoof video of people like meant to be off their nuts on steroids doing like weightlifting. And this guy like lifting so, so much, so much weight that is, his arms tore off so like his arms were still stuck on the, the the bell bar and he just stood up and that like that was the joke and it was in like 240p or whatever it was like this tiny like pixelated video that he downloaded off the internet and we thought that was a uh, hilarious ah long play tells me it was an snl bit long play look in terms of snl the all drug lemmas yes yes see let's see long play knows it but for us in the uk the all drug the all drugs olympic was it like an internet meme because i didn't realize snl was a thing until about like five years ago no no i, I no i heard about it like a bit before when i was going out with a yank but she talked about snl but snl is not across the border like deep where you lived at, you live in canada jimmy did you did you watch many snl skits was, was nah. that thing? nah. they, they're not into it either um, I don't know. I just, uh, I just didn't watch any. It's, I know it's no, a big because... show over there, but I just never, I never really found them that funny. But that might be blasphemy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if anyone finds them that funny. It's, it just seems to be a thing that no one finds that funny, but everyone watches it. Like, you know. America's I found that about that whose line is it anyway? Though I never found that funny, and people used to go on about that all the time. I thought it was like very, very gentle I mean... comedy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a bit weak, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan either. But no, I don't know. Ah, I don't know the the whole the whole kind of like SNL thing. It's like it's on for ages, but it's not funny. But it seems to be like I don't know college football for comedians. Maybe I've got this completely wrong. But it's the idea if you want to be a big comedian, that you will appear on SNL. If you make it on SNL you could be good uh, long play says it's uh snl ranges from deeply unfunny to the occasional society changing bit mm. so i guess it's hitting i guess it's hit and miss and you don't yeah you don't know so it's kind of like i guess you've got to just keep watching it hoping that one day it'll be good <laughs> it's just like not not a set not a tagline for a show is it like watch no. it relentlessly every saturday and hope that it might be good because you don't want to be the idiot who didn't watch it that one saturday it was funny but uh, but with that in mind, uh, anyone watching us on Twitch, you never know. It might actually, you know, what we, we you don't want to miss out because one day we might be actually exceptionally entertaining. So just watch every time for let us see. Just treat us as the SNL of Twitch. Oof. If you if you're sat watching us and thinking, God, one of these days these guys might be like dramatically entertaining. <laughs> That could be us. Just, just hang around. Just hang around and dedicate most of your life watching our streams. Who knows? You never know. Long play. Long play. Put it out there. This is going to be our quote. The FOMO with indie bandits is legit. There you go. There you go. This is the deal. That you don't want to. Speaking of FOMO, the uh, I've got to talk about Dom because he's our he's our honorary indie band. And Dom is Dom is a longtime friend of ours, right? And also someone who has incredible FOMO. Uh, I think we've mentioned him a few times on the on the the podcast as well, have we not? Dom is supposedly he is like the fourth indie band. Yes, we're the three musketeers. He's the D'Artagnan, right? He is like outside. I don't know. 
Tomorrow's journey planned. He's not the he's not like the OG three, I guess. But uh, but Dom is a friend of ours who unfortunately can't uh, can't commit to the indie bandits as much as we like because unfortunately Dominic has a child and is busy with his life. And also arguably he's the most he's the most talented and entertaining of all of us. He's a musical genius, but he he's just going to remain the the Maris of the indie bandits, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if if you know Maris from Fraser, but he's just going to be the indie bandit that we we mention all the time, but is yes, never there. He's going to always be off camera, off mic, off whatever. <laughs> and uh, he has a really bad case of of FOMO. Uh, growing up, Dominic was always the one who would attend any evening, no matter how bad his schedule was for said evening, and attend evenings of drinking and so on and so forth. Uh, Dom used to used to play organ at church. Do you remember this one, James? When uh, when Dominic attended an evening at oh, our yeah, yeah. flash apartment uh, on a drinking session, um, Dominic used to used to play organ at a church, and uh, <laughs> he doesn't anymore. Uh, Dominic is an excellent musician, by the way, who uh, played organ at a church, and sadly uh, one day felt. So gripped by the FOMO that he had to just come to a drinking session at mine and Jimmy's flat slash apartment whilst we were at university and uh hooey, drink too much the evening before he had to uh play organ at a church the following day for somebody's uh funeral service and well, in, in, in Dom's defense, he, uh, he drank, he was very unwell, he was violently sick in the corridor outside of our flat <laughs> as he left the following morning having slept barely a wink, and kudos to him, he made it, he made it to that person's uh, funeral service. He vomited outside the church before performing the funeral service. But, bless him, as the absolute trooper he is, he played that per person's funeral. And I know I know his uh, organ slash keyboard abilities. And I know he would have played perfectly fine. I know he would have just pulled it all together and there would have not have been a note wrong for the that entire session. But Jesus, we were sat there going, we were watching him leave that the flat the next day if you remember jim going Shit right. you. we're like we're like we're going back to bed we're going back to bed thank fuck i don't have to play an organ at somebody's funeral today i mean dom is talented but sweet jesus i don't have the power in me to to do a job at that time yeah yeah um, Who knows? Who knows? Well, good, good on him. Good on him. Legend that he is. Right, gang, chin these mugs. Who are they? Uh, we're attacking Nottingham, but uh, oof, I don't know. It's going to be a tricky one, so I'm going to go in for sneaky. I'm playing right with a crack on today. Has been Fraser jokes, seventy SNL jokes, and Ramparts discussion. Yes, we are. We are definitely <laughs> keeping with the times. Look, as 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 Longplay mentioned. Look, we're not here for. We're here to like hang out, crack on, whatever. Like even 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 when we play games, we've worked out we've worked out now that you know what. It doesn't does it does it does it really matter that when we play indie games we don't talk about the games that much because you know what trying to play uh, trying to talk about the games and play them at the same time we're not that good we're not that good that's not like that's not our crack on uh, it's a reference that long play mightn't get uh, but we we've called our content test cricket and anyone knows what test cricket is it it is a sport that lasts five days if Americans think baseball is like dull because it takes too long and the fact that uh like the sports with too much pausing in it and all that kind of crack on in test cricket they 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 go for lunch in the middle of it 
they literally go like have their spot have their lunch. lunch. They have a spot of lunch for like an hour and a half. Like there's a there's a break for a meal in the middle of the game. And if you are the poor sods who have to I don't think we're gonna win this talk well. about cricket for like five days straight. You are not gonna be talking about the game for the majority of your coverage. And we realise that's kind of our crack on. Our kind of crack on is that like look at look look at what's going on the screen. Are you that bothered by it? Or are you more interested in our crack on and the, the stuff we're talking about? Because just come chat come chat to us about whatever. That's that's our angle. And I think I feel like we're gonna stick we're gonna stick to that with with this and with uh with the indie impressions we do we played a uh, the talos principle the other evening and that was fun did we talk about the game i don't really think so but you know what we are oh, excellent bit. it was quite good as time. i recall uh, long places he finds the chat parts to be the most interesting to be fair uh that is that is completely fair uh, long play because to be honest <laughs> we don't talk about the games we're playing that much but uh like we we we'd love to talk about the we you know we'd love to talk about games but i don't know i feel this like test cricket slash baseball commentary format works well and we i think we much prefer to uh, prefer talking to the people on the stream like the game, I guess the game is there to have some footage, unless it's like really taxing for you, to Jimmy. But uh, I know every time like I'm running the show, uh, I mean you're playing a game much more taxing than what I choose when uh, when I'm like hosting an invert comedy. <laughs> I'm not sure doing this attack in the Nottingham Castle was a good idea this time round. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're 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 probably kind of more busy, but this is, I guess, this is why we like do it in teams. I guess this is our kind of. This is kind of our crack on. We do we do want to like move towards like trialing people game trialing games and but the problem is I don't think we'd be able to do a lot of games justice. We are we have been thinking about doing a whole kind of like you know going through the like the demo disc, the article we do on a on a monthly basis where we showcase the the indie games with playable demos. But if you've watched our streams you know exactly how little attention we paid to play it uh, 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 we pay to the game that we're playing so i don't know how fair that would be for any dev especially someone who's made a game who's poured their life and soul into a game for us to like give it 10 15 minutes though that, i mean i think it's i think it's a premise that could could work but i think it would be a very very different uh it will be of a very different format to what we do, which is the kind of like nonchalant banter about anything while somebody plays a game. Our men are winning the and I honestly we don't know how like how good we'll how good we'd be at it. I mean, it's definitely something worth a, worth giving a try, but uh, yeah, maybe. But I don't know. I quite like just chilling out and chilling out and just playing a game and chatting shit, which I think is. I don't know, play to your strengths kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's what got us affiliate status. Whoa, 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 big, big Billy Bollock streamers right here. We got the, uh, we got the affiliate status. People, people love our crack. The problem is also we want to kind of like build a, build a platform and man i think like i don't think we'd be able to like give games from the community that the like the, i don't know the time they deserve through the format we do this is always the problem i have with uh like we have i don't know we have like we 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 have our platform and like on twitter and that we have like we have a nice following and on on and on discord we have a nice following and it's you know we're looking towards uh we're looking to build that and 
give indie devs a platform where we can like give them that boost mm -hmm. but like as long as you mean what if we talked about the game and nobody cared like I don't think we'd mind if nobody cared but for, for me it's for me it's the issue that like if we like play the game for like 50 you know for like 50 minutes because it was a demo or something like that it's like i genuinely believe like our voices aren't that important like it's the voices of the community so i would rather be like the string or the thread or whatever holding the community together rather than being like you know the prophet on a hill shouting down at people and going this is what you should play kind of crack on like mm -hmm. i want us just to be there like the battle is very much in our favor if we remain being sure like the the, the yeah the, the catalyst behind the conversations like that's i don't know that's what that's why that's why i see us I see us as like it's like the town square the the meeting point where all these peoples uh all these peoples jesus all these people can just like get together and chat about indie games and uh, this was a point uh that long play made for actually one of the podcast episodes where they said like be active in the community do what you uh, you know be active in the community like you can't you can't just like uh, arrive at the at the town square and expect everyone to pay attention to you if you're not an active participant in the community that you like say you care about mm -hmm. and that's what you know that's what that's what i want us to do i want us to be i want us to be the town square not the community i want all the people to come to where we are and we will give them the boost where we can but like it still relies on the members of this community to participate in those and those that do like we obviously we really appreciate you know like long play long play included like if you come and participate we'll we'll push everything we can within our power but if we if we if we sat there and we were just like i don't know i guess like a shill for for indie games if we were like because the the if, if we just like if we invented like a very valueless penny, uh, sorry, a uh, stamp of approval for indie games that we just put on everything, it wouldn't it wouldn't be worth anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if we were just, we will promote indie games, but by we promote indie games without like adding our, our opinion to the one the games. You get me? Like we we highlight them. We go here's a game let us know what you think about it rather than going here's a game this is great if you get me like that i feel that's that's an important thing because if you just someone says this is great this is great this is great then you end up with like people going this person says great this is great all the time we end up as the we rate dogs of indie games where someone will <laughs> eventually tweet us and go uh you give 12s and <laughs> 12s out of 10 for every indie game you look at and we have to go they're good indie games, Bront. Like, it, does, it doesn't work like that with indie games. Like, we can all agree all the dogs are good boys. Yeah. <laughs> and most indie games are good indie games. Like, I don't want to have to say it. They're good indie games, Bront. But we do have to... Uh... Like, we do have to just go... Here are indie games that will give more exposure to. And... Essentially... I feel that's the best way to do it because if you just shill for every game then you sort of like as long as it's 10, 10 out of 10 best effort it's like if you just, if you give every game uh, like 15 out of 10 for effort then your opinion is worthless what what we want to do is give them a spotlight show them the spotlight because i know like every game regardless of what you think about it has an audience there is an audience there is somebody out there that will like what somebody is making 
Oh, yeah. And I think we just need to, like, give it that little, like, impetus or push or spotlight for even if it's, like, the 5, 10, 50 minutes of fame that gives an indie game enough that somebody who likes it and will get the ball rolling see it. That's what that's what we need to do. There's no point for us to go, hey, everyone, this is the best thing ever. I think it's better for us to go, look at this for, like, I know you're busy, but look at this for 10 seconds, and you might think it's cool. And then someone will, that, you know, if we have enough of an audience, somebody will come across it and go, oh, damn, that is cool. I'll tell people about it. And then, you know, They'll have a look at it, they'll play it, who knows. And that'll, you know, and they'll find the audience. That's that's what we try and do, just to hopefully that people will will find the audience for the for the game they've made. And hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully once we've got a bit of an audience we can we can start doing that kind of thing. And uh maybe uh what we've talked about quite a lot, but because of how streams work and how difficult it is, uh Hopefully just having like a little like, I don't know, like a cavalcade, maybe an evening where we play like four or five like little indie games from the community, just for like five, 10 minutes, just to give it a little bit of exposure and just quickly go bam, bam, bam. Or maybe like a, we were discussing a round table as well, which we thought would be kind of cool where you just, we say here, here are the five indie games we're gonna play this evening. Five indie games, ideally with playable demos because I really love the idea of playable demos because no one has to no one has to invest so you can literally show like your game off to somebody and then go hey everyone who's watching you can go give this a try as well this is what we're playing we're not playing like a cool build that has like all the functionality that you don't want to know or whatever but just like five playable demos of indie games for an evening get the devs in on the on the on the stream as well so if the dens uh, if the devs can attend the stream then the devs can also be like the devs can be involved in the chat as well, so they can be there if anyone watching wants to uh, like ask questions or something. But also, if we did like five in an evening, there would be four of the devs who could also critique the devs' output. I guess they, you know, that was that's an idea that we've been talking about for a for a while. But uh, then we also have to get uh, we have to get like several playable demos ready. We have to make sure that they all work on <laughs> on stream and all that kind of crack on. Mm -hmm. But it's it's something that potentially for the future. I think that's a that's a good. Idea. Long places they're working on players out demo for our main game. Well, let us know when it's ready because I do uh, I do put together the uh, the demo disc article that we do monthly. Uh, like it's every second Friday of the month where we put together five demos that we think look cool and you know let people let people know about it i guess that's cool yeah is this the same fight jimmy sorry but <laughs> this is not this is i mean how important is nottingham it looks quite nice with all the flaming arrows raining in though I, just like real life nottingham but uh it's, yeah, it's yeah. been a difficult one because this is a quite heavily defended castle. We started all the way out there beyond the gates and now we've yeah, made our way in. Several, so. several, wa several walls. But I think I should have it now. I'm in. Oh. Yeah. But back, back to our, back to the, the point I was talking about was uh, a streaming like indie demos. Like if there would be... The problem is the timing as well. I know like devs are from like all over the world as well, I think. And... Uh, you know, you kind of like, if we could get like five devs in the chat whilst we stream like five different indie indie demos, I feel that could be like a really cool idea. Just here, here are five games. We're going to play them. Uh, the dev who made it in the chat, but there's also four other devs. And then like, you could have a little like debate between the devs. I think I think that that's something I've like I'd really like to lean into, but obviously, uh, Arch, Archie's the technical one in terms of demos on our team. He's and he's like probably <laughs> some devs, uh, you know, some devs mightn't want their demo to be streamed. If you get me, they like wouldn't feel too 
they might feel confident enough about their demo like being played at home but they mightn't want the demo like they mightn't feel their demo is good enough to be like showcased as it were on a stream so they might feel a bit nervous about it but like i also feel like showing their demo on a stream like warts and all might be really helpful them helpful for them as well especially if there's like four of the devs there in the chat can go hey guys like this this might need work etc etc who knows who who knows i mean this is this is sort of the, the problem we have because obviously you want to show off people's games but also everyone wants their game to be shown off in like a really awesome light and we're kind of stuck in the bind of being like yes but if we we can't change reality in a way like we'll show off your game as like well as we can but you've also got to understand that like if it doesn't play well shit what can, what can we do guys like we are we are so sorry like like we didn't mean for your game you know there, there could be like a game breaking bug that appears as we stream it and some devs would like feel like that was our fault like you know we put ourselves out there as well when we when we do this and uh you know like as, as long as says there are like there are like weird bugs that like come up and geez like you do you, you don't know how to deal with them but like you know obviously time we we play something we like put it out there and this is kind of why we focused on like you know this old series of games or like when we stream is that is that a dude going down Please that's the, the general or as long place put it the sheriff's gone down yeah um and like as long as long place says there's a lot of indie streams and like it happens a lot but like it's not about it's not about it's happening it's like i i know from our side of thing like indie devs are like chomping at the bit to get like some exposure but i don't want to give them the exposure that like works in the opposite way to what they intended if you get me like you don't want you, you, know, you know the feeling jim you don't want someone who just like turns around and says like please stream my game please stream my game please stream my game and then they're ex they're so excited about like their game getting like some exposure even if it's from us by the way hashtag uh, twitch affiliates now by the way indie bandits have made it big but like you know these people <laughs> don't want us to stream their game and then us be like oh your game broke live on our stream and everyone thinks that shit sorry even though that's not your fault but uh, yeah do you know what I mean? Like we don't, we don't want to be, res we don't want to be res responsible for that. But also, we have the kind of problem where, it's like, if you start, if you start promising to stream like one dev's game, then you've got to like stream another dev's game, and you've got to stream another dev's game. We get a lot of people obviously asking, uh, you know, you got a lot of people asking about like, do this, do that, do that, and we don't want to make promises because. We can barely organize ourselves, let alone, like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're, we're lucky we get this stream done on a weekly basis. Like, the reason Archie isn't in these streams is because sometimes Archie's busy on a Friday. Like, that that's... that's oh, my God, I did it. it. Oh, my God. That was, a, that was a solid, solid battle. That was a but, slug um, and a half, that one. Oh. Yeah. But you know what? Like, we... This is the reason I don't want to start making promises to some people because then some people get back to you and be like, uh, you promised me a week ago you'd stream my game and like, dude, I'm getting to it, I'm really sorry. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like so so at the minute we've kind of got a like a blanket, like no promises to nobody thing, because at least we can't disappoint anyone that way. But we do wanna like turn around and uh Oh by the way, uh long play thanks for the uh the subscription. I actually have no idea what subscribe to tier one means, but whatever that <laughs> means, laughing. that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I saw a star. I think it's cool. Like all, all we want to do is fucking like plug indie games, and like we do, you know what we do? We, we, we this this stream is just to like crack on with people and try a long form kind of thing. We know it's like not indie whatsoever. <laughs> it's like it was just something we knew that was like old school. Uh, we know it's something that's like it's old school and long form and it was a way for us to practice like a long form stream with like some continuity 
to see if like I don't know if we could like stream something that we could like pick back up a week later and still carry on. But uh Haha, <laughs> sweet. One dollar and twenty yeah. months, Joe. We'll spend that on uh We each get thirty three uh, cents of a beer. Yeah, like a I don't know, like a Mars bar. No, you can't even get them for thirty three pence now. Nah, we'll get something. Maybe we'll get a Mars bar and split it three ways. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Celebratory but Mars do, bar. Uh, but I do want to go back to this long play uh, message where he says, uh, "Indie game acts where he does like five games with the devs in the stream, and sometimes it goes a bit pear shaped." But I mean, uh, the question I have to ask about that is, does it go pear shaped because their games don't work? Because that's totally cool. I'm totally happy for like someone's game not to work. I mean, they're probably not. Obviously, the, the devs aren't happy that their game didn't work. But what I mean is, like, if you don't like the game, like, sorry, like, the three of us are Geordies, and we're not, we're not a... I mean, flip, flip, no, man, we're Geordies, we're pretty, we're pretty direct, like, we are not, like, super smiley, like, oh, man, your game is really awesome, kind of, crack on, sorry for the shit American accent, but, uh... It's gonna re just unsubscribe now <laughs> but you know you know what i mean like yeah like, jimmy you know what i mean because you're a flipping geordie as well even though you're half southern dirty bastard um <laughs> but you know what i mean like if the game breaks that's not a bother but if it's just like if it's something that we genuinely believe is like a terrible idea or not fun we're not gonna pull punches but we're also but we're also we're not we're not here to slay them so we're not gonna like if we played a game that we didn't think was fun we've played we've played games for the podcast that we didn't think was fun and we said like these are the kind of people that would find it fun but we we don't kind of crack on we're not here to slay people like we're very much of the opinion if, if yeah no, that's a, that's a fair point nice to say, i if think, you think I, it's rubbish don't stream it yeah i think it's a good uh good point it's a it's a fair point but the idea is we like the way the way we've been going is we're going to stream it to see if it's rubbish or not that's kind of the thing like we 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 do these kind of like first impressions kind of crack on and it's like we'll we'll tell people we'll honestly tell people if it's like not our kind of game and i think we're at least with the three of us like we have such like a sporadic taste in games that i think We'll find something that one of us likes usually. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's the good thing between me, between uh, me, me, Jimmy, and Archie. Like me and you, Jim, we like we like RTSs and like this kind of crack on. Whereas Archie's not a big fan, but you and Archie like more of like the first person shooter crack on, which you know I'll still enjoy, but. It's not like my kind of bag, but I think me and Archie like a bit more the kind of like stupidly artsy party crack on, which you're like, just make a game kind of crack on. You know what I mean? Like we have this kind of like nice trifecta between the three of us, which I think makes for a, a good range of opinions. But uh, yeah, I was just going to say, by the way, I don't sit in the chat, but uh, in terms of the where we're at with the game, I think this might be a reasonable stopping point um as oh, definitely nottingham's yeah. been retaken and the crusade was successful i feel like uh this could be a sort of a natural stopping oh, point. oh definitely um, oh definitely i have, I have no doubts about that jimmy i was more i was far more interested in long plays banner than this game at this point oh, i just mean to... that the stream might end is what i'm saying <laughs> oh yeah yeah well we'll we'll wrap it down but i am just uh just before we go i do like the uh uh long play games talking about five games 15 minutes each which sounds like kind of like the format that we were like uh leaning into is this uh I believe he's talking about indie game niacs so uh i think we'll we'll we'll, we'll check that out but it, it seems like yeah. a format that we could uh we could look into because we are uh we've hit our uh like quarterly quarterly review where like every three months we like look into what we're doing and whether it's any good or not and then sort of like flesh it out and see what the crack on is so uh i mean it wouldn't it wouldn't have to be exactly five five games 15 minutes but it might be worthwhile us doing a little like 
in the not cavalcade what's the word i'm looking for an indie like showcase a yeah indie yeah like, showcase grab a of, like few four games, five games yeah. this is somewhere yeah. like trying to work out how to do so that we can get it so that it uh, it works as, as seamlessly as possible and then we'll do that and i think uh and, and, and to do it in a fair way so that the like that we don't pick favorites as it were like yeah it's, it's that's an awesome name by the way long place is demo disc live which is what which is this is the idea i've been floating around the idea that we go back to our our demo disc articles and just play through them just have a stream where we play through all the all the games that featured in the demo disc and work through them i do like i really like that demo disc live actually james uh, i've been You're gonna <laughs> steal it yes <laughs> sir I, I'm I'm not going to steal it. I'm going to Without acknowledge it, I credit it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> demo disc, yeah, uh, demo disc outside. live, copyright, long play games. Uh, yeah, no, that's a, that, like that's the kind of idea. Like we work through the demo disc. I mean, we've only done like twelve of them, but uh, oh well, you've just signed uh, long play says it's all yours. Where you've just signed off copyright. So if I earn, if this becomes a thing, trademark, and loads of other streamers do it, and I start making mad bank off it. Uh, <laughs> You know what, LA, we'll have to like parentheses credit long play, but yeah, I think I think this is something we could maybe we could maybe look into and start uh, start doing like a fi like a little indie showcase demo disc live where we play like five demos. It'll take us a bit longer to get started up, but if we do like an hour and a half, fifty minutes each or whatever, Tomorrow's that's journey. probably terrible that's maths. Time. Fifteen thirty an hour, an hour and fifteen. All right, breaks between maybe an hour and a half, and we do like five five demo disc games and we stream all five of them quickly banter and tell them the devs and then uh do that crack on that that could be a that could actually be a really cool uh little feature now we just have to work out a day where all the indie bandits can get involved but uh also long play if you do where uh, you do have a ever have a playable demo just like yeah wing it the over line and that game that game will be featured like this is the deal is the deal is with our like our demo disc and indies you may have missed articles and kind of that crack on it's about having the games that are from the community like that is that is number one the only time i'd ever use a game that isn't from the community is if i've run out of games from the community which is it's not gonna happen so like that's why we do we want to we want to like give the spotlight to the people who like get involved and interact with us so uh, i think that's probably a good idea the way I don't know, DDL sounds like a, a wrestling move, but also that makes it just sound much cooler. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that cool. sounds pretty awesome. And also, James did some stuff on uh, on stuff Mary happened. Movie. Yeah, stuff happened on Mary. We got Nottingham back though. That's the important uh, thing. Our faction is a little bit stronger than it was at the start of the game. That's progress. We own the capital of Egypt, and also not forgetting that uh, Nottingham, which if history serves me correctly, uh, is in England, uh, now but still belongs to England. So most of the British Isles is still ours. Yep. Next so turn we can it, finish that off. Can, do we do we still not own all of the British Isles? I felt, I felt we no, had this. we don't have any of Scotland and none of uh, Ireland. I will if we didn't stop getting attacked every five minutes by the Spanish, French, Portuguese and Danes, then we might have had it by now, but they've uh, been pretty hardcore. It's like it's happening again. Anyway, that's for next time. <laughs> uh, that is for next episode, but uh, yeah, I think we appreciate Long Play's uh, feedback on what we're doing as a community and... I uh, might mention because it's the end of our like quarterly review crack on that we will uh we'll be drastically changing where we're we're gonna talk over this weekend about how to change our, our Discord server to make it just like streamlined, business words, etc. And uh we'll Inter get that sorted out. Interslice Magna, that's the future on thing, isn't it? We're watching that. We're watching that back with the last. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll streamline the. We'll be stre hopefully streaming streamlining the Discord over this uh, over this weekend, and just again like really like doubling down our efforts in ways that we can like, I guess, help the help the community. Yep. Really push in indie games and that kind of crack on this long place as synergistically enhanced cooperative streamlined services which uh when that's you our new strap line drop it down to just the uh the the the, the acronym it's uh, i believe that 
that says uh, sex, right? Sex with two S's. Yeah, yeah, S E. It's like it's like if a snail, if not snail, if a snake said it. Sex. Yeah, yeah, love it. Sex. I dread to think what aligned with your core values when you deterministically find them. Spells out. Not even going to think about it because it might be rude. <laughs> and hashtag DDL demo disc live. Demo disc live might be a might be worth a shout. So we'll we'll do that. But I guess from there we'll uh, probably leave it. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Thanks, for, you thanks for joining us. No, I don't want to. No, I feel we've achieved enough in this episode, and we can. Uh, it's we can time for there. Betty Bobos. Hashtag DDL. That's gonna that's gonna be a thing. Hashtag demo disc live. I'd, I'd say look out for that, and unless we can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll be back, well, with this, we'll be back next week, but there's other stuff happening in the meantime, so check us out on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Discord, and, um, yeah, we'll be, back, we'll be back with another episode fairly soon. Nice. See yous. See you later. ta -ra.